Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside Winfield High School for tonight's matchup between the six and thirteen Winfield Generals and the eight and twelve or eighteen and twelve Nitro Wildcats. Now the Wildcats have wrapped up Conference Cardinal. They have two games left, though. Winfield trying to play spoiler. Winfield's coming in on the last two or three, barely squeaking by a polka last night. And Nitro comes off a win over Nicholas County, the Grizzlies, 91-59 last night at Alumni Arena. They're on a four-game winning streak since the loss in the Parmar shootout to the East Fairmont Bees, who recently upset senior Fairmont Senior on Valentine's Day. We're going to step aside and be back for player introductions after this. In an ever-changing world, one thing you can always count on is Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Hurricane. You know, Gene and Ryan built their business the old-fashioned way by making friends. There are no gimmicks or games at Walker, just honest, fair deals, and their method is so straightforward, it may shock you. Friendly service and a huge selection of inventory with more arriving daily. When you're ready for your next vehicle, take the short 20-minute drive from Charleston or Huntington to Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, just off the Hurricane exit of I-64. Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, making friends one deal at a time. Serving the area one truck at a time for over 60 years, Mullen Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling is in your neighborhood each and every day working to keep your family warm and comfortable. With cooler days ahead and winter right around the corner, now's the time to schedule your home HVAC system tune-up and preventive maintenance. If you need a new system or received a quote from another company, give Mullen a chance to take a second look. Right now we're offering 0% financing on a new Ream home system and includes a 10-year worry-free warranty. Remember, Mullen Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Call or visit us online today to schedule your appointment at mullenplumbing.com. The HD Media Plus app is your ticket to see all the action on the hard court as it happens. Sam, Sam banks it in! Sam's from three! Download it today for free to your smartphone or TV so you won't miss another shot. And welcome back in here to Winfield High School as we get ready for player introductions. As soon as they start, we'll pass it over to the public address announcer here at Winfield High School for tonight's starting lineups. Starting lineups have been done on the court for the traveling Wildcats wearing the black. Number zero, Ty Stevens. Number two, Derek Lowe. Number three, Timmy Lovejoy. Number five, Ashton Crouch. And a freshman, number 11, Caitlin Thomas for Winfield as the tip goes to Nitro. Number two, Lockery. 
Number 10, Kinder. Number 4, Miller. Number 12, Pinkerton. And number 34, Dillard. Correction, Pinkerton is not starting. Kiefer is. Stolen away on the first possession for the Generals. Packed house here at Winfield for these foes from across town. Nitro has the early season win against them back in January where the Wildcats won 64 to 52 as Miller's shot was no good and the Wildcats come back out running. Freshman has it, hands it over to Lowe. Nitro was hot last night, uh, called their game. Uh, and they, they almost had about a couple uh, kids at 20 point marker as Ty gets his first basket to go. Tuned over late to see this game and see the ending of uh, the Polka Winfield game, which was a nail biter. Winfield pulling it out against another foe from just down the road. This game is a reschedule from earlier in the season. And that shot's going to be blocked by Lovejoy, who leads the Wildcats in blocks about around one and a half per game uh, per max prep. Two to nothing as we're at 6.30 here to play in the first quarter. Wildcats on top. Out front. Generals go to work. They kick it over to Kiefer. His shot's no good. He came off the bench in that last ball game against the Wildcats and lit it up from the floor. He was one of the leading scorers for the Generals when these two last met. Nitro, like I said in the opening, is coming off a four-game winning streak after losing to the East Fairmont Bees, who upset Fairmont Senior on Valentine's Day, 59-55. to So you got some top AAA programs getting a couple late season loss as Dillard knocks down that basket for the Generals to tie the game. Two to two. Nitro in the black, Winfield in the white. Nitro works the offense. Try to get that screen there. Uh, get it out to Timmy Lovejoy and he knocks it down. Three point advantage for the Wildcats as Kiefer brings it across half court. And the shot from about the foul line for Kinder was no good. Nitro comes away with the rebound on the season. Nitro's averaging about 31 rebounds per game. Most of them coming on the defensive end, around 21. And then about 10 or so uh, from the offensive rebound. They really need to improve in that aspect as they look to make a late season push and get ready for postseason play. We got a foul that's called on the floor. It'll still be Nitro's ball. Trapped off the inbound, but somehow comes away with it, puts it off the glass, no good. And we're going to get a loose ball foul. It is going to be on Ashton Crouch. It'll be the Winfield Generals ball. Oh, correction, that is going to be on Lovejoy. Five to two here. About to be under five minutes here in the first quarter. Winfield slow to get it across half court. Coach tells him to hurry up. Dillard out there just moseying. Kinder and hits hit with a travel. Picked up the pivot. Spun around. Early turnovers for both teams causing this shaky start. The last time these two met, Nitro won the first quarter 20-4. Now Thomas gives it back to Crouch, and he gets it to go. Thomas coming off a good night last night, eight points, six steal, seven steals, and I believe seven assists. And Lovejoy's going to get hit with the foul. He got armed before he got ball. Two fouls now early on Timmy Lovejoy of the Wildcats, which is – Calls for concern as he has come on strong for the Wildcats as of late, averaging around nine and a half per game. And Kiefer's going to go to the line and get the first one to go. 
Landon Poniatowski checks in for the Wildcats. He has been out for a couple of games, uh, had an injury to the lower leg. Glad to see him back in there playing. You never still like to see any of these young athletes get hurt. And we're going to get a, a foul on Miller there. Push off on Poniatowski. Poniatowski is one of those players for the Wildcats that come in here and do all the dirty work. I was talking about it last night. He, when he's out, he's missed for sure. He does everything that nobody else wants to do as he sets screens up at the top. Ty gets it poked away by one of the generals. Now Ty resets. Thomas has it out front. One of the phenomenal freshmen that I've seen play this year, along with many others. High school basketball in West Virginia is looking very bright here in the future. That ball is going to be last touched by the generals. Lowe gets the inbound pass. Kind of scary, though. Kiefer had good position, but Lowe came away with it. Wildcats reset the offense, trying to get it going. Pony out on the wing. He does have some range for a big man, just doesn't pull it a lot. Crouch slips, and he gets hit with a travel. He was trying to use that body leverage down there in the paint, put too much pressure on that one side, which caused him to slip, and it'll result in another turnover on the season. Wildcats are averaging 10 turnovers per game, 10 and a half, really. Uh, they're creating, though, 13, almost 14 turnovers per game as well. So they're winning the turnover, and we're going to get an illegal screen down at the other end on Lockery. I was saying... Wildcats, you know, winning the turnover margin just barely, though. You'd like to see that get a little bit more on the plus side as you head into postseason play here in West Virginia in the AAA Conference. This is a Cardinal Conference game. Thomas got stuck in air, and so he just had to give it up. Uh, but Stevens was there to recover. Early fouls, early turnovers have kept this game at 7-3 as Ty Stevens who's averaging 16.1, but in the last three games or so, he's been over 20. Got that basket to go. Down at the other end, Kiefer tries to get into the post to Lockery. Spin, good move, shot is good. First points for Lockery there. Scores nine to five here, as we're about to fall under two minutes and 30 seconds to play here in the first quarter from Winfield High School. Nitro has swept the season series with most of their rivals this year. Winfield would be the last one. Crouch out to Thomas. Thomas drives, finds Poniatowski. He's guarded by Lockery. Kicks it back out, though. They reset. Now Stevens gets it back into the post to Crouch, who had 18 last night, 18 and 10. He knocks down that one. 11-5, under two minutes. Lockery gets it to the top of the key here. Good pass, trying to get it into Dillard, and they're going to say it was last touch by the Generals. Wildcats ball. It was a good look there by Lockery, though, as number 22 Fisher checks in for the Generals. Nitro still trying to get some offense going. Averaging on the season about 67 points per game. I'm sorry for having a ton of Nitro stats as Max Preps is up, kept up to date by Steve Edwards for the Wildcats. And there is no stats for Winfield as Crouch gets that basket to fall. Starting out another hot night for him as he's got six and he'll head to the line to try to make it seven. Crouch, phenomenal close player. Like I said, a double-double last night. His brother, uh, who is a freshman on this team, Colin Crouch, saw a lot of action last night also. Try to catch up with him. Crouch brothers combined for, uh, I believe, 30 points and 
20 rebounds last night over at Alumni Arena as they beat the Grizzlies of Nicholas County. In the game now is Pinkerton. He's guarded by Little John. Little John, one of the best defensive players in the state, in my opinion. As Fisher with the head fake. Shot doesn't fall for him, though. Pony Atowski comes away with the rebound. Ty Stevens going to push it out. Ty is just a sophomore and one of the leading scorers in the state as a guard. Just a sophomore, though. Still got a couple more years left to work on his game. Dillard at the other end is going to hit with a charge. And that's that's the that's what Pony Atowski gives you off off the bench in this game. Uh, usually he's one of the starters, but Kalem has stepped into that role since the injury and glad to see Pony working his way back in there, doing the stuff nobody wants to do. Under 45 seconds here. 14 to 5. Wildcats on top by nine. General Generals look to keep causing trouble on defense over here. Outside shots have not been open for the Wildcats. Most of the points coming in the paint. Kalen Thomas tried to take it, tried to get it back to Little John, and it was knocked away by Fisher. His length stopped that. Good pass down in the block. Shot's going to go for Miller. It's a good pass there by Kinder. Fall under 10 seconds. Leads cut to seven for the Wildcats. Thomas up top. He's going to take it all the way. Shot's going to be no good. And that's going to end the first quarter here at Winfield High School. Wildcats on top, 14 to 7. And we'll see you here just shortly after some commercials for second quarter action. Hi, it's Tony Caridi. You know, our West Virginia military veterans are the last ones to ask for handouts, yet many of them are hungry. I invite you to watch a video that shows an amazing monthly program that helps feed our veterans in Beckley and Clarksburg. Huntington Bank and other partners would like to expand this program to other areas of our state, and we'd love for you to help. Watch the video at wvenriched.com. That's wvenriched.com. At Glimple State University, you can discover friends to last a lifetime, professors who broaden your perspective, and the skills and education for future success in a small town environment. At Glimple State University, you can become a pioneer. Welcome back in here. Great performance there by the Generals dance team and cheerleaders during that break. Big shout out to them. Lockery had two for the Generals. Miller had two. Kiefer had one. Dillard had two as well. Fouls and sloppy ball handling is the story of the first quarter as we get started with the second with the Generals having it and Pinkerton out front. Now gives it to Kinder. Swing it back over. Miller splits it, but there's Little John. Not only is he coming off the bench as a junior for this Wildcats team, he is also a phenomenal running back for the Nitro Wildcats. I believe that low center of gravity for him gives him the ability to play that great defense and be the great running back that he is. Ty with the floater. It's going to be short. Gets his own rebound. Short again. Not enough legs, not enough strength. Kinder comes away with it. Fisher now has it. Kicks it to the corner. They're going to pull it back out front. Now go into the middle here. Kinder comes off. Back drop to Peros, and he misses. Now the Wildcats are running. They're 2-1-4, and Fisher gets the block off the glass of Lowe. Lowe had a big first quarter last night with 10. Has yet to get on the scoreboard for the Wildcats. And Winfield is killing the offensive rebounds as Paros gets the basket to go, coming off the bench, getting his first points. 14-9 here. Ty comes off the screen. It's short again. Back out to Little John. Little John thought about it. Ty's going to pull from three. Got it. You cannot leave that kid open. He is lethal from three-point land. 
shooting 43% from behind the arc. Pinkerton drives on Little John. Hands back off to Kendrick. Now back out into the corner as Miller thought about it. Fisher has it. They work it back around. Now Pinkerton's going to drive. And it's going to be no good. And another offensive foul. Tony Atowski doing the dirty work down. Pinkerton picks up his first foul. Leading scorer in the first for the Wildcats was Crouch with six, I mean seven. You had Stevens who had four in the first, Lovejoy with three, and then Ty's three-pointer here early in the second quarter is what makes it 17 to nine as we fall under six minutes in the first half. Colin Crouch is in, gets that pass stolen away from him by Peros. Peros lost his dribble, was able to find Kinder. Kinder drives baseline, kicks it back out top to Lockery at the foul line. He drives, going against Crouch and gets the basket. Good, strong move there by Lockery. Four now in the game for him. Wildcats reset. Looking to get this offense clicking. Right now it's been a little sluggish. Winfield not letting them get the outside shots going. Kick ball. It'll stay Wildcats ball. Wildcats are Winfield's trying to make the Wildcats win this game in the paint. Nitro has shooters from the outside. Just have only one shot though from the outside. Another kickball off the leg of Fisher. Good defense by the Generals. Fire out to the corner for Little John. Comes across, kicks it to Crouch. Now back out to low for the three. It's going to be no good. Off rim. Little John throws it back in. Lockery recovers though. Crouch is all over him. Miller brings it up for the Generals. They get it into the post for Locker. He goes up, and Ashton Crouch is going to pick up his first foul. Looks like both teams are trying to play that post game right now. Lockery settles in for two shots here. First one is good. Give him five in the game. Colin Crouch is going to check out. He was in there for a brief period of time. That's another freshman for this Wildcats team. Lockery with second on the way. Got it to go. Good rotation. Good, good everything there on those free throws. Really locked in from the foul line was Lockery. Derek Lowe pulls up. Got his first basket. 19-13 as we are about to approach four minutes and 30 seconds left here in the first half. Miller has it. They give it back to Lockery. Poniatowski guarding Lockery now. Poniatowski gets the steal out to Thomas. Thomas has got numbers. Gives it to Lowe. Lowe gets the basket to go. Now Little John. Kiefer back. Gets trapped. Tipped by Lowe. Kiefer comes away with it though. He's going to drive the paint, gives it to Peros, and it'll be last touch by the Generals. <laughs> Stevens is going to check again for the Wildcats. 21-13, 4.07 left here in the first half. Been a post-game battle to start. Not a lot of outside shooting going on. Ty has a three. Uh, everything else from three-point land has not went in. which one of the weaknesses for the Wildcats is guarding that three. Winfield is yet to really fire away from there. Ty catches, shoots, and is going to be fouled. He'll head to the line for three shots. Foul's going to be on number 22, Fisher. It's hard to come as a defender. It's hard to come off that screen and not try to make contact because you're running full force to get caught up, to get a hand in the face. And... It just puts you in a tough situation as a defender right there. 
Ty shoots 79% from the free throw line as he gets the first one to go. Four in the quarter for him, eight in the game total. And he gets the other one, just a little soft touch, barely squeaks over the front of the rim there. It's on the way, got all three. Now has 10 in the game. Kiefer gonna bring it down for the Generals. Wildcats stretch the lead to 11. Little back and forth game, trying to get it into the post or drive and kick, and they do. They get it out to Miller. He goes back into the post, gives it up top to Lockery. Lockery out to Peros. Peros hands it off to Kiefer. He can shoot the shot from three. Got to be careful. Slow, methodical offense here by the Generals. Peros takes it on the drive, kicks back out, and number 13 Miller almost got hit with the travel and. Instead, it's a steal by the phenomenal freshman who leads this Wildcats team with two steals per game and gets the basket at the other end. Thomas is averaging on the season two steals per game. Uh, lead, second leader in assists with three per game and about five points per game. Not bad for a freshman. Coming straight out of middle school, your ninth grade year, playing against seniors, juniors, and sophomores, as we look at Coach Lowe, giving them the orders. Talked to him last night about how he's turned it around from 11 and 15 last year to 18 and 18 and two now. Only two losses coming from GW earlier in the season and at the Parmar shootout against East Fairmont, who they split the season series with. They played them early in the season. And Nitro came away with a win at Alumni Arena, and they played him in the Parmar Classic, and East Fairmont looked like a new team from the last time I saw them. They were hustling. They, they wanted to get that win back. You got three teams at the top. You got Fairmont Senior, Nitro, and East Fairmont all at the top of AAA this season. Lockery at the top. Is it back to Peros? Peros looking to try to get something generated for the Generals. Short. Dillard's there for the putback. It's going to be no good. Peros, though, gets the putback. Four for him coming off the bench. A little pressure off that shot. Ty drives. Shot's going to be no good. Try to draw the foul. Crouch is there to put it back. Oh, looking like a cream, a dual Jabbar out there shooting the hook shots. Now Peros, good kick down to Miller. Shot wouldn't go. Now he's fouled on the second. Oh, no, a travel. Thought they may have got the foul on the second attempt. But instead, the referee gives the travel signal. Full court pressure now by the Generals as the Wildcats have stretched the lead to 13. The Generals are trying to upset the Wildcats and split the season series. But this Wildcats team, very feisty and plays very good defense. Kickball on Lockery. It'll stay Wildcats ball. Winfield's coach not happy with the call. Coach Tarr. Now low on the inbound. Back to Stevens. They're trying to trap the guards. Good ball movement by the Wildcats. That shot is going to sneak in off the front of the rim. Four time. That's nine in the quarter. 13 in the game. Winfield trying to get something going on this offensive end. Miller helps him out with that three-pointer. Jace Miller. Now has five in the game for the Generals. Dillard guarding low. Dillard with that sweet perm uh, mullet. Thing just flows in the wind. 
Now Ty has it out. Gives it to Crouch. Crouch is not an outside player, more of a post player. Crouch sets the screen. Shot from low for three is good. Seven now for Lowe. None in the first, seven here in the second to help his Wildcats lead. Lockery from just a little past the free throw line, misses and gets his own rebound. Tries it again, no good. Poniatowski leads the team in rebounds with about eight per game. Comes away with it. Drop about under 30 seconds here in the first half. Lowe tries to take Dillard off the dribble but backs it back out. Nitrous is probably slowing it up, trying to make it at least this is the last possession or give Winfield very little time left. Out front, Thomas. Now Kiefer puts on the pressure. I'd be careful because Caleb Thomas can handle the ball like nobody else. Ty, head fake, spin, shot was blocked though. Crouch comes back with it and puts it off the glass on a reverse. 11 for Crouch at the buzzer, shot's no good. And that'll do it for the first half here at Winfield High School. As the Wildcats come out fighting hard, they're on top, 36 to 18 over the Generals. We'll be back for second half action here in just a little bit. I'm Chris Miller, and I'm proud to sponsor productions like this one that showcase the best of this great state. School pride runs deep here. Friday night lights, crowded gyms, packed auditoriums. It's what makes this such a great place to live and work. So be true to your school. And at Dutch Miller Auto, we're there with you. Because when we build on our young people, everybody wins. I'm proud to lead the way as we bring out the best in West Virginia. I'm Chris Miller, and enjoy the game. Ball Automotive Group is here for all your automotive needs. We have three locations with over 300 new vehicles available and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles in stock. Ball Automotive has been an integral part of our community, which we have proudly served for over 20 years. With over 1,300 online reviews, you'll see why our customers keep coming back. To see what Advantage Toyota of Barbersville, Ball Toyota of Charleston, and LNS Toyota of Beckley have to offer, visit us online at ballautomotivegroup.com. If you're hungry late or you're on a date, Adelphi is the place to be. Awesome wings, fried feta cheese, let's all meet and have a dream. Friendly smiles and TVs for miles, Adelphi is the place for me. We live stream sports from across the globe. Join us for Sunday brunch from 10 to 1, Adelphi on Capitol Street. Are you ready to unlock a future filled with remarkable pay, unbeatable benefits, and unparalleled satisfaction? Imagine embarking on a journey that offers you a college-level education without the weight of debt, all while earning a steady income. Look no further than the West Virginia Building and Construction Trades Apprenticeship Programs. Join us, and together, let's build a future that's brighter and stronger. Go to ACTWV.org to apply today. The West Virginia Building and Construction Trades, where the future is forged. The HD Media Plus app is your ticket to see all the action on the hard court as it happens. Sam, Sam makes it in! Sam's from three! Download it today for free to your smartphone or TV so you won't miss another shot. CJ is a great company to work for. We've been around for 78 years. We are an underground utility construction company all across the, the East Coast. We are rapidly growing and we're seeing a, a, a huge growth in this market, um, a huge need for employees. We are always looking for those that are experienced, those that are trying to get their foot in the door. We have positions for everybody. We offer competitive pay, we offer competitive benefits. We take pride in having a family atmosphere at CJ Hughes and it's truly just a family company. In an ever-changing world, one thing you can always count on is Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Hurricane. You know, Gene and Ryan built their business the old-fashioned way by making friends. There are no gimmicks or games at Walker, just honest, fair deals, and their method is so straightforward, it may shock you. Friendly service and a huge selection of inventory with more arriving daily. When you're ready for your next vehicle, take the short 20-minute drive from Charleston or Huntington to Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, just off the Hurricane exit of I-64. Walker Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, making friends one deal at a time.
Serving the area one truck at a time for over 60 years, Mullen Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling is in your neighborhood each and every day working to keep your family warm and comfortable. With cooler days ahead and winter right around the corner, now's the time to schedule your home HVAC system tune-up and preventive maintenance. If you need a new system and received a quote from another company, give Mullen a chance to take a second look. Right now we're offering 0% financing on a new Ream home system and includes a 10-year worry-free warranty. Remember, Mullen Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. Call or visit us online today to schedule your appointment at mullenplumbing.com. Hi, it's Tony Caridi. You know, our West Virginia military veterans are the last ones to ask for handouts, yet many of them are hungry. I invite you to watch a video that shows an amazing monthly program that helps feed our veterans in Beckley and Clarksburg. Huntington Bank and other partners would like to expand this program to other areas of our state, and we'd love for you to help. Watch the video at wvenriched.com. That's wvenriched.com. At Glimbal State University, you can discover friends to last a lifetime, professors who broaden your perspective, and the skills and education for future success in a small town environment. At Glimbal State University, you can become a pioneer. I'm Chris Miller, and I'm proud to sponsor productions like this one that showcase the best of this great state. School pride runs deep here. Friday night lights, crowded gyms, packed auditoriums. It's what makes this such a great place to live and work. So be true to your school. And at Dutch Miller Auto, we're there with you. Because when we build on our young people, everybody wins. I'm proud to lead the way as we bring out the best in West Virginia. I'm Chris Miller and enjoy the game. Hi, I'm Ben Nickel. I'm from Charleston, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you'll find me at my local Parmar store. We have that Bobcat pride at your local Parmar stores. From food and drinks to gas and more, we have everything you'll need at Parmar. Download the Parmar app and sign up for the rewards cards. We have stores throughout Ohio and we're coming soon to your neighborhood. We are Bobcat proud and we are Parmar stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon.
welcome back in here to Winfield High School on this cold day outside, but it isn't cold in this gym. These are rivals playing, some foes, so it's it's nice and warm in here. You can feel the tension as the Wildcats are up at halftime, 36 to 18 over the Generals. Generals having kind of a down season, six and 13 to overall record, uh, four and six in Cardinal Conference, puts them about fifth place. And the Wildcats, on the other hand, have turned it around from one season ago. 11-15, 7-7 conference record last year. Now 18-2 this year. Perfect conference re record. 11-0, trying to make it 12-0 tonight. They have one more game at home at Alumni Arena on Wednesday against Hoover. Also, Winfield's next game is against Hoover as well. That is on the 19th at 7 p.m. here at Winfield High School. Leading scorer for the Generals there in that first half was Jace Miller with five, or, oh, I'm sorry. He's second leading scorer. He had five, and Lockery had six. Kiefer had one. Harrow's come off the bench with four, and two for Dillard. On the Wildcats side, though, as we're getting ready to start second half action here. Ty had number zero. Ty Stevens had 13 in the first half, seven from Lowe, three from Lovejoy, 11 from Crouch as the Wildcats possess it first. And the freshman Thomas, who has the ball now, had two, but a couple key steals there to push the momentum in the favor of the Wildcats. Lovejoy's back out on the court for the Wildcats. Had two early fouls in the first quarter. That's why we haven't seen him much. Thomas with the floater is going to fall short, but he's able to get his rebound. Stuck down low with all the bigs. Gets it out to Crouch somehow. Crouch at the top, spinning around like a dancer. Gets it to low. 36-18. Wildcats reset now. 30 seconds have gone by here. And good pass by Stevens to Crouch. But it was knocked away. Send it back out to Lovejoy from three. It's a little too hard. Kiefer skies to get the rebound for the Generals. Dillard. Now to Kinder. Back out to Dillard. Dillard can shoot the three. His floater is going to go, though. That was beautiful, just like his hair. He's now got four in the game. Derek Lowe now splits the double, gets it down to Crouch. That's what happens when you try to double team somebody. You got somebody always open. Crouch gets his 13th point, averaging about 14 on the season. But it's really came on late these last couple of games. And it's kind of a wake up call since that East Fairmont game and the Parmar shootout. Dillard loses it off the body of Lovejoy. Wildcats out on the run. Good no look pass back to Crouch to get the basket. Above his season average now with 15. As the lead grows to 20 as we we're about, a, about two minutes played in this third quarter. Nobody puts a hand in the face of Lockery. It's a little defensive lapse there for the Wildcats. He had two standing right by him. All you had to do was put a hand up and he gets the basket. Time for a deep three. His rotation is good, but it's going to be short. He's been coming up short a lot here from the floor in the last two quarters. Dillard cross court to Kinder. Kinder off. Low steps it away there. Sorry, I got caught up on my words there. Now they get it back out to Derek Lowe. He's looking to go baseline. Good hesitation and finish there by D. Lowe. Derek Lowe gets the basket. Nine for him now in the game. Wildcats keep answering. All the twos that the Generals. And it's Kiefer's last one to touch. He was out of bounds when he threw it off of Thomas. He asked the referee what was going on. Now 21, Radcliffe checks in. I remember correctly when they played at Nitro, Radcliffe caused some chaos on the defensive end for the Generals. Pretty good defender in himself, and he's coming in to play Stevens. Problem is, is you take Stevens out, and you still got Crouch, and you still got Lovejoy, and you still got Lowe. You've got scores all over the floor for the Wildcats. 
And you've got a facilitator like Thomas, who is a freshman. As Crouch steps into that free throw line and drains it. Nothing but the bottom of the net for Crouch as he's got six this quarter, 17 in the game. Game high. Ty with the steal. Out running, leads it to Crouch. Crouch recovers, goes up, and gets the basket and the foul. Ashton Crouch coming alive here in the third quarter. Lockery gets the foul. Second foul for him. Crouch. Phenomenal season for him. I've called almost all the home games for the Wildcats over in Alumni Arena. And always in the double digits most, most of the games. And he's almost double digits in this quarter if he hits these free throws. He got that one. He's at nine. Now the Jens try to get the offense going. Locker, he's got a good shot to answer. Crouches down at the other end. 47-24. Just about 4-15 left to play here in the third quarter. Derek Lowe resets the offense. Hand off to Thomas. They try to work it back in the post to Crouch. Lockery there to meet him. Outlet to Stevens and Radcliffe is going to get hit with the foul. He is an aggressive defender, Ratcliffe is, and kind of costly. Derek Lowe is going to check out of the game, and Pony Atowski is going to make his way back in. Trying to get back into the rotation here, coming off an injury late in the season. Don't want to push it too hard as you got sectionals and regionals and all that coming up. Caleb Thomas pulls from three. It's going to be no good, though. And we're going to get a foul on Lovejoy. That's three now for him. He's been around the double-digit score in the past couple of games for the Wildcats. Only has three here in this game against the Generals. Foul trouble has kept him from playing a lot of minutes here tonight. I'd like to thank you for watching this High School Game Day brought to you by HD Media and RSN Network and the Portmar stores. As the Generals set it up. Radcliffe kicks it back out to Kiefer. They like to do this drive and kick offense and I believe Thomas is going to pick up the foul there for the Wildcats. It'll be his first. Oh, correction. They got Lovejoy. His fourth. He'll check out. And we probably won't see him until either late or this game gets tight. Lowe's back in. They get it into Lockery. He's going to go baseline on Pony. Thought about faking it, but Peros is there to put it back. That's six for him in the game. Coming off the bench, contributing. Love to see it as a coach. Good six man. Wildcats reset as we fall under three minutes here. Low. A lot of contact with Fisher. Tries to hand it off, but it's stolen away by Lockery. Lockery has a dribble, but does decide to give it to Kiefer. Kiefer tries to push. Poked away by Low, but he recovers. Radcliffe in the corner. Hands it off to Lockery. Inlet pass to Fisher. Double team down there. We got size advantage now with Fisher with Stevens gardening. And Lockery's going to pull from three. And got it. Lockery, seven in the quarter for him. 13 in the game total. Pony Towski at the other end gets the basket to go. His season average is dropped in points, but it doesn't matter. He does all the dirty work for the Wildcats. Gets his first points of the game right there. 20 point advantage for the Nitro Wildcats. As Fisher's drive is no good. And Pony had the rebound, but Kiefer snuck in there. Now it's loose. 
And we're going to get a timeout taken by the Generals. 142 left here in the third. We're going to stay here for it. Take a look into some of these huddles, see what the Generals and the Wildcats are coming up with after all on this timeout. Lockery has been the go-to guy, <coughs> excuse me, for the Generals. Like I said, he's got 13 in the game. See a glimpse of the Wildcats there. Going front middle. Well, more to the right middle. Uh, known her since she was just a little old girl. That's Carson Van Camp out there, senior year. Been a cheerleader all those years at Nitro High School. Back here in the wide shot, looking, wondering what Coach Tarr is talking about over there. Trying to get his team to start chipping away at this lead as we get the Generals cheerleaders now, who just got back from Florida. They're down at Disney, finished seventh and Nationals. So congrats to them. Very talented team. Uh, I believe last year they also went down there and placed as well. So keep it up here at Winfield. Love to see our local West Virginia high schools go out of state and get recognized. Winfield's got it off the timeout here. Peros, who has been another hot hand for the Generals. Decided to kick it out. Now he's got it back at the free throw line. Tries to take Crouch off the dribble. Kicks out. And another kick back out. It's that drive penetrate offense. He misses the runner, though. And Crouch comes away with the rebound. Hard slap on the ball. Crouch almost averaging a double-double per game this season with rebounds and points. And that's going to be a kick ball as Poniatowski trying to feed it down low to Crouch. Quiet this quarter for Ty Stevens as he's on the bench right now getting some rest. We got Eli Littlejohn out there. Kalen Thomas, Derek Lowe, Ashton Crouch, and Poniatowski. Winfield's got good pressure defense as we fall under a minute to play here in the third quarter. Caleb's going to drive, loses the handle. It'll be the last touch by Thomas, though, and be the general's ball. Full court pressure from Thomas on Kiefer. That's why he gave it up, and Pinkerton brought it down. Now Paris pulls it up from the elbow and gets the shot to go. Harris now has eight in the game. Lowe's going to try to answer with another elbow shot down at the other end. Doesn't fall for him. Winfield's cutting away at this lead, trying to go into the fourth quarter with some momentum as Ratcliffe drives and is hit with the travel. Try to ball fake, but... Kind of got caught up in the mix there. It's hard when you run into the towers down there of Nitro. Pony Atowski in. Crouch. And I believe we're going to get a timeout taken. It is a full timeout. General cheerleader is going to hit the floor. Like I was saying, they I believe they play seventh, if I'm correct. If not, I apologize. But either way, you go down to a national event and at Disney in Orlando, Florida, any place, you're doing something right. So even if you're not a Generals fan or from the town of Winfield or wherever you're from, we always like to support the youth of West Virginia and encourage them. Love to see great things happen. So they just, they led down there in the point system down at uh, Disney. That's, that's incredible. Just incredible. Good job for the Generals cheerleaders. Now 
Mitro will have the ball coming off the timeout. Lowe's going to inbound. Full court pressure, causing a little bit of disruption, but Ty's there to get the pass, but it's no good. Paris comes away with the rebound for the Generals. But there's Ty to get the steal. He's going to go one-on-one with Paris, draw the foul. Bassett's no good, though. Stevens will head to the line. He is three for three from the game, from the free throw line. He got fouled early there in the first half on a three. Uh, Fisher was coming off the screen. They created for Ty. Ran into him as he was releasing the ball. 79% on the season and got that one. First points of the third quarter, though. So kudos to Winfield for keeping him off the scoreboard here as we got about two minutes or two seconds left here. With the Wildcats trying to go back on top by 20 with this free throw. Got it. Kiefer. It's fouled. Coach Lowe telling Pony Otowski, what are you doing? Send Kiefer to the line to shoot three. They had the 20-point advantage. And we'll see if Kiefer can cut into it. Stoppage and play there as the Wildcats cheerleaders thought the quarter was over. Kiefer makes the first. Can't commit those fouls at the end of quarters on those long shots. And he goes one of three from the line there. 51-32 at the end of the third. We'll be back for fourth quarter action after these commercials. If you're hungry late or you're on a date, Adelphi is the place to be. Awesome wings, fried feta cheese, let's all meet and have a drink. Friendly smiles and TVs for miles, Adelphi is the place for me. We live stream sports from across the globe. Join us for Sunday Brunch from 10 to 1, Adelphia on Capitol Street. Are you ready to unlock a future filled with remarkable pay, unbeatable benefits, and unparalleled satisfaction? Imagine embarking on a journey that offers you a college-level education without the weight of debt, all while earning a steady income. Look no further than the West Virginia Building and Construction Trades Apprenticeship Programs. Join us, and together, let's build a future that's brighter and stronger. Go to ACTWV.org to apply today. The West Virginia Building and Construction Trades, where the future is forged. And welcome back in here to Winfield High School on a Saturday, February 17th. Significant date for me. My daughter turned seven today. It is her birthday. Generals will have the ball to start. And it looks like they're going to try to swing it around. More of a perimeter offense right now than the drive cut and pass. But Paris goes. He's got Pinkerton out here. Good closeout defense by Lowe. Lowe gets screened by Lockery. Now back to Lockery in the post. Good spin. Good defense by Crouch to keep a hand in his face. Shot's no good, but Generals get the rebound. Paris lays it off the glass and gets it to go. He's having a phenomenal game for the Generals. Full court pressure here. See how the Wildcats handle it. They beat it. Crouch to Stevens in the corner. Dribbles. Shot off front of the rim. Loose ball. Kiefer gets it. Now Ratcliffe has it. Kicks it out to Pinkerton. Can't handle the pass. And they swing it back over to Peros. Back out to Pinkerton, 4-3. Good ball movement there by the Generals, but the shot doesn't fall. Putbacks, no good. These offensive rebounds are killing the Wildcats. Got to do something about that headed into the postseason. Crouch finally comes away with the rebound. Pinkerton slips, gives low the advantage as Ty pulls for the three and got it. Lethal out there. He 
He's got do the math here in a minute. And we get a blocking foul at the other end. Shot's going to be good for Lockery. And foul will be on low. It's his only his first. Lockery will go to the line. I believe he's been there once tonight. Made both. And missed that one, though. Might have jinxed him there. Crouch comes away with it. Gets it to Low. Low outlet to Ty. Back out to Caleb. Low on the cut. Good lead pass by Thomas. And that's why he's the second leader in assist. And Low gets the basket there. Low is actually the leader for the Wildcats. I'm a six assist a game. And Thomas is on his heels trying to take that as Lockery gets the basket to go at the other end. Good move by him to get that one off the glass. Ty. Don't know what happened there. That ball shot out. It was like a kickball. And that's what it will be called. And Wildcats will still have possession. 56-38, under six minutes here in the game. Timmy Lovejoy's back in the game for the Cats, playing with four fouls. Got two of them early in the first quarter. Came back here in the second half. Picked up two more real quick, which has caused him to be on the bench for most of the game. Swing out front to low. Now they work it back. Winfield's more into his zone defense, running like a 3-2 zone. Last touch by the Cats. It'll be General's ball. It's like the Wildcats will be in man-to-man. They've been playing a lot of zone here recently. Just rotating between man and zone on defense. Played the three-point shot very well here tonight. Usually that's one of their weaknesses and teams expose them. As Paris pulls from the free throw line, shot's going to be short off front of the rim. And we're going to get an over-the-back foul called on the Generals. Paros. That's his first foul. Oh, second foul. Sorry, correction. Full court pressure. Thomas gives it over to Lowe. Lovejoy. Now to Pony. Good ball movements to break the pressure. They reset out back to Kalem Thomas out front. Phenomenal freshman, having a good freshman year. Big things to come from him and these Nitro Wildcats in the coming years. Good pass over to Lo Stevens, 4-3, and got it. Like I said, the kid is lethal from out there. We're going to stay here. Tom, he's shooting 43%. I know he's missed a couple here tonight, but drained a couple too. And right now, he's leading the Wildcats in points. Twenty-one to be exact. So he continues the streak of twenty-point games for the Wildcats as they look to close out the regular season. They'll be back in action Wednesday at home, Alumni Arena, seven p.m. start time for varsity as they close out the regular season against Hoover. Nitro Wildcats, Lady Wildcats will be in action this week too with some sectional games, playoff games at Alumni Arena. Both of the Wildcats basketball teams ranked in the top five of AAA, both girls and boys. Wildcats are, Lady Wildcats are number two in the conference. Just one loss on the season in conference to the Wayne Lady Pioneers, who is a very good ball team. Loose ball is going to be recovered by Miller. He's going to drive, Euro step, gives it to Lockery. Lockery goes up and gets the basket. He's had a big game as Lockery. He's got 18 points. Low drives blocked by Perro. So. Just under four minutes here in the fourth. 
Nitro on top by 19. Lowe gets it, gives it back out to Stevens. Ratcliffe on him. Stevens drives, got it to Pony. The Pony resets it back out. And Lowe knocks down a deep three. That's 14 in the game for Derek Lowe. Two back-to-back -back nights with double digits on the scoreboard. Caleb Thomas now. Wildcats on top by 22 here at Winfield High School. Much different scene than last night as the Generals played Polka and a nail-biter there at the end. Uh, bad pass there by Lowe. Goes off the knee of Miller, who's going to bring it down the other way. Get the basket and go to the line for a three-point play. Kalen Thomas picks up the foul. His first, team second. Get some subs in for the Wildcats and the Generals here. We're going to see Colin Krauss check in. And you're going to see Eider, Eider, Eiderton check in for Winfield. Also, number 15, Reigns, is going to come in. Three-point play is good for Miller. That's his first points of the game. And he's got all three of them there. Crouch, not usually a ball handler. And it shows there as that pass was to nobody, but Reigns was every cover for the Generals. Paris goes coast to coast. Too much spin, but number 55 is there to put it back for the Generals. His first points coming in off the bench. Cole contributing early. Student section going wild after that here for the Generals. Kalen Thomas out front showing his handles there. Good defense, though, by the Generals. Thomas drive, drop past the crowd. Got it. He is a facilitator. Not much of a scorer yet, but he has moments. He had a game high against uh, Logan, I believe when they met earlier on the season high for him. I believe he had 11. That sequence didn't work out there for the Generals. As we drop under two minutes here, 19 point advantage for the Wildcats. Looking to go 19 and two on the season. Thomas drives high off the glass and got it to go. Four now for him around his season average. He's at 4.6 per game, so Foul is going to be called on Crouch as Reigns ran right into it. Crouch brothers are on the floor. That is Ashton's Crouch. Second foul. Reigns is at the line to shoot two. And it gets the roll. Student section erupts for the Generals. Spirit fingers going crazy over there for the Generals in the student section as Rain settles in for a second. He got it. Some of these younger players getting in here in some cleanup time. And it's great to Give them a confidence boost. Come in and score some points. Play some good ball. And we're going to get a foul. Pinkerton's going to pick up a foul. Thomas is going to go to the line to shoot two. Minute 18 left here. 19 point advantage. Make that 20 as Thomas gets his fifth point of the game. Like I was saying, it's good for some of these younger kids, some of these kids that don't see a lot of varsity time as Thomas missed the second. Get in, get some confidence moments as they make some shots, whether it be from the free throw line or just from the floor. 
make some good passes or some defensive plays. Right there, Reigns. Right place, right time, but couldn't finish the reverse. Now Paris works on Austin Lovejoy. Two brothers, two sets of brothers on this Wildcats team. You got Colin Crouch, Ashton Crouch, and you got Austin Lovejoy and Timmy Lovejoy. Little John's back in the game for the Wildcats. Pinkerton overplays that pass to Thomas, and they swing it back around, give the Generals time to recover. Under 30 seconds now, well, almost. Loose ball, Thomas comes away with it. Now we fall under 30 seconds. Maddox Cole out top. Phenomenal field goal kicker and kicker for the Wildcats. Lovejoy's basket was no good. And now Generals are out running. Good hands there by Little John. Miller comes away with the loose ball. Misses Cole with the rebound. 14, 13, about to be 10 seconds left. And that's going to do it here from Winfield High School as the Wildcats will move to 19-2 on the season, 12-0 in conference play, and the Generals will fall 6-14 on the season, 4-7 in conference play. Great game by Lockery and Peros, who led the way for the Generals trying to fight in this game. But a phenomenal game by the Wildcats and another great performance by Crouch and Stevens. Uh, Stevens... Like I said, had 21 in the game. Crouch had 22. That last two put him as the leading scorer for the Wildcats. So two, two players in double digits. Derek Lowe follows up. Uh, Adder in 14 to the calls. And Thomas with five. And Lovejoy, not a big game for him offensively with those fouls. Had three, and Ponytowski had two. Once again, we'd like to thank you for joining this high school game day brought to you by HD Media and RSN Network. My name's Eric Taylor. Join us next time on our next broadcast, and we'll see you then. Have a good evening.